tonight from NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. It's the AFC Championship game on EA Sports. throwing here to start the drive. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon Cooks, 75 yards. And the Texans are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Boy, just zero hesitation from the rookie passer there, Carter. He is coming out firing in this opening quarter. And all the talk leading into this game was that pass rush talking about challenging this guy, getting into his grill, getting into his space. And how about him? Might be his first year in the NFL, but I don't see any fear in him at all. How about that big time throw right out of the gate? Try and start this drive in the air. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. Another big play here as they strike for 31. I think this defense was still trying to recover from that last play, so you wonder if they were ready for this one. You have to imagine their defensive coaches are yelling at them to get focused, because if they don't, more plays like that will result in giving up points. And the Texans are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Texans are an extra point away from drawing level. first down he's letting it fly for cooks launches deep a jump ball and this is caught a huge play there for houston 58 yards so barely time to catch our breath here's first and 10 just outside the red zone and that nearly a turnover but it's incomplete well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And, oh, it's incomplete. Oh, that would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. They'll look to throw again. This will be caught inside the 10. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Second catch of this AFC title game, and he's got a first down. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. 
Open man is Cooks. He's got it. Touchdown, Texans. Yeah, yeah, we A great it, play there with his second touchdown in this opening quarter as his guys have now moved out in front. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And this is caught inside the five. A huge play there for Houston. 59 yards. He went swinging for the fences on that play. Didn't quite get in the end zone, but boy, they're set up pretty now. Okay, that play just happened. Let it go. Time to defend the goal line, bring some all-out pressure, and try to knock them back. Mack. Touchdown, Houston. No CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching. Back to throw now in his own end zone. He's letting it fly for Cooks. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon Cooks on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Texans continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. You do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass his young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed. Aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, a On first down, he'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. This to the outside for Mack. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 16 yards on that one, and also a Texan first down. A nice throw there. And this is a quarterback, you remember, looking to do what no other rookie has done, and that's lead his team into the Super Bowl. And now you've made me go back down memory lane a little bit because we have had a few guys come close. Think about Patrick Mahomes in 2018. Second year in the league, but his first as a full-time starter. I go back to 2000 with the Vikings and Dante Culpepper. Also his first year as a starter, but this would be something I think would be very noteworthy. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And got his man complete. Touchdown, Texans. Brandon Cooks on his way to a historic performance. Four first-half touchdowns. And the Texans are able to add on to their first-half lead. On this stage, conference championship game, every play is magnified, and that was a big play. No doubt about it. One thing that has these guys a step away from a shot at the big game. Back to throw now on first down. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. And that is a historic run for him, partner. With that pickup, he just broke Lamar Jackson's 2019 record for most yards in a season by a quarterback. No one has done it better across a 16- or 17-game schedule. Now his name will be forever linked with the best runners to ever play at that position. And they move this all the way down to the 9. 23 yards on the tuck and run. And cue the applause, and there it is for him, the mark he's been aiming for all season long. 1,000 yards, just the third quarterback to reach that milestone, joining Lamar Jackson and Michael Vick. 
That's a season's worth of work and a huge commitment to get him the touches that he touched down. Marlon Mack, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Texans have taken a five touchdown lead. Brandon, remind me again, this is a rookie quarterback we're seeing? A rookie indeed. I mean, because my eyes are telling me something I'm having trouble believing. Five touchdown passes. He's thrown five in this game. Are you kidding me? to throw here on first down. Eluding the pressure right. A nice little juke, and he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. He'll drop to throw. Flushed out right. It's caught by Sanders. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run the draw play with Mack. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Now they'll throw here out of the gun, escaping the pressure right. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards at a first. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right, to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, here's a classic second guess. I thought he had a better chance of a positive play if he just ran it himself. The coverage downfield was really good. That one falls incomplete. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. It's their quarterback. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Texans will extend their lead here just before halftime. We've seen this already from him in this game. to throw now on first down. He's letting it fly for Cooks. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. A huge play there for Houston. 67 yards. Real part, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Well, that 
didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. They'll look to throw here. And he's got it. That'll bring out second and goal after the gain of five. Looking to run with Mack. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. They give him two yards officially, and now he'll be third and goal. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would... And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Marlon Mack saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Texans take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone. throw flushed out right oh able to avoid him and he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield big yardage there on the scramble it gets him a first down no surprise to see him running again here is something he's done throughout this season and that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year he's got to be thinking to himself if i'm already at 500 what's to stop me from going for a thousand They go play action here on first down. This ball caught by Mechie. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. They're going to look to throw. Repeat of the last play, going to Mechie here. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Back to throw here. Got his tight end, that's complete. It's Jordan. And he gets halfway there from the 6 to the 3 on a gain of 3. There it is, the defense waking up after three plays that hurt them. Finally, they stand up. They have a little pride, too, you know. Three straight first down type plays. Yeah, they wanted to make one stick on their side, didn't they? This is caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job is simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Andy Janovich punching it in from a yard away. And the Texans have taken a six-touchdown lead. Well, they've been part of the cream of the crop in the AFC all season. It's becoming more and more evident that they're going to get a shot to play for that Super Bowl title. The momentum has been building, and you mentioned how well they've played throughout the season. It's all come together for them, and they're really laser-focused on being that team to represent in the Super Bowl. Yeah, they have been dominant in this one. Looking to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. 
Marlon Mack, 45 yards. And the Texans get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long. And this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around, they're reading. First down, they'll start out with Mack. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. They'll go with Mack here up the middle. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. These are running back numbers that he's accumulating right now. Received double-digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark and rushing, in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A run up the middle with Mack. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead first down in the quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Oh. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. Now back to throw. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. A great effort there. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Texans are closing in on a Super Bowl berth now as he... They'll set up a throw. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. A huge play there for Houston. 56 yards. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. Right side completes to Mechie. Touchdown, Texans! John Mechie, 31 yards. And the 
Texans add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. He had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now? They begin the drive on the ground with Mack. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 59 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. On first down, they'll stay with Mack on the ground. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Back to throw. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, yeah. Houston. Brandon Cooks, 42 yards. Yeah. And the Texans are pouring it on. Yet another touchdown in what has just been a high-scoring affair, a fun one to watch. And it's the rookie quarterback, Charles, coming through with yet another touchdown pass to pad the lead. Did we come into this game where defense was optional? Because it certainly feels that way, right? But when you look at the scoreboard, this rookie, he has his team moving a little bit quicker pace than his opponent. The entire offense is going to get plenty of praise, but I think these coaches have to be especially happy with what their quarterback has done. to start the drive. Good footwork at the 30. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Houston. Marlon Mack. 67 yards. And the Texans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taken charge. Every touchdown for them has come via his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defensive scores. All him throwing the football. He's at cruise control right now, and so is his team. They'll start on the ground with Mack. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Throw left side complete. That's Mack. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. They'll set up to throw. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter. And the QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun.
The Texans, they are going to the Super Bowl as we sign off and say goodnight, everybody. And that does it for the conference championship. For Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And for our entire crew, we'll see you two weeks at the Super Bowl. This is the NFL on EA Sports.